As police work to track down who is responsible for these murders, support is now flooding in for the U of I students both on and off campus. Many students are home now, but some don't have the option to leave campus. School leaders and the Moscow community are trying to help. Our Esther Bauer shows us what they're doing for students spending the holiday on campus. Drop-in counseling is happening right here at Mary Forney Hall. Resources like this are ready and available for students to help them process a trauma many may have never dealt with before. Whatever you are experiencing, it is appropriate. It will look and feel different for everyone, and that is okay. That's the message U of I's president is leaving students with. Many are home with their families right now, but some aren't able to leave. I was visiting with folks and realized a lot of students didn't have a place to go. A lot of students ended up here, off campus at the Inland Oasis for a Thanksgiving meal on Wednesday. It's a sense of normalcy through the uncertainty. I thought having a community dinner would be great. Inland Oasis is just across the street from the campus, right? So they don't have to worry about transportation. They can walk here. We're doing it not as a dinner, but as a lunch, so it's light outside. The food was all donated, and this event hasn't happened before, but organizers say it's needed now more than ever. We also, as a community, have to carry on, and be safe, and be vigilant, but keep loving each other and keep helping each other. And I think that's the spirit that we're trying to move in, is just help each other move along and comfort each other when we need to feed each other when we need to, and just be there for each other when we need to. Whether students are coming together for a warm meal or making their mental health a priority, this community is trying to heal from heartache and support each other through trauma. Vandals helping vandals is everybody helping everybody. And this drop-in counseling resource will pick back up again on Monday. And the university president says increased security here on campus will continue until a killer is caught. Reporting from the University of Idaho tonight, Esther Bauer, 4 News Now. New